Welcome into the Cowboys Report. Dallas has done something. They beat the Baltimore Ravens to avoid being the last team to do anything in NFL free agency. They've re-signed stud safety Donovan Wilson. That is a big-time move for the Cowboys. It was a priority for them internally, and they get it done on day two of NFL free agency. It is a three-year, $24 million deal. $13.5 million is fully guaranteed of this contract. The Cowboys wanted to keep Donovan Wilson. And they do. The market kind of got to the safety market was a little bit active early on. You know, Jesse Bates got massive money. Uh, Marcus Epps, the former Eagle safety, got about $7 million per year, maybe $6 million per year. That one helped set the absolute floor for Donovan Wilson. The way this deal is structured, my guess is is you're looking at a 5-ish, maybe $4.5 million cap hit this year. We'll jump to $8-plus million next year. And then that non-guaranteed money minus, you know, maybe $2, $3 million in signing bonus is all going to be backloaded into year three that he may or may not get. The Cowboys will have flexibility there to extend him, release him, whatever. It'll be a two-year full deal. A flexibility for year three. Also worth mentioning, your other safeties, who I love, especially Jaron Curse, Emily Cooker, are back. They're happy. They will be free agents next year. So by keeping Donovan Wilson in town for technically three years, but at least two minimum, this sets you up to have a player who is under contract for beyond what your other safeties are. And Wilson was awesome for you last year. 101 tackles, 7 TFLs, 5 sacks, 1 INT, 2 pass breakups. He's shown deep safety stuff within reason. He's not that true single high guy, but he can cover that role if needed. At his best, kind of coming downhill, hitting hard, making plays on the football. 7 TFLs, 5 sacks. He was the Dallas Cowboys' leading tackler this past season. All of that is valuable, and I am very glad the uh, cell service works on the yacht in the Bahamas and the Cowboys got something done with Donovan Wilson. Just like last year, I was a little worried they might lose their big time for agent safety. It was J. Ron Curse last year, Donovan Wilson this year. They get him paid, get the deal locked in. The cap always goes up. Uh, deals go up there as well. So I want you guys to grade the re-signing of Donovan Wilson. A, B, C, D, or F. If an ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there. Let me know. A, B, C, D, or F. Grade the re-signing of Donovan Wilson. My grade's a B plus. I do have tough grades. And if you're getting B pluses all throughout college, congrats. You're doing a great job there. And cumulatively, you'll probably get the bump up to an A when it's all said and done. It's not the most team-friendly deal. Uh, maybe the Cowboys, if they had been a bit more proactive, they could have found something to get it done a little bit earlier there with Donovan Wilson. But I ain't mad. I'm happy. Donovan Wilson's a damn good football player. Injuries have been a red flag in the past. That is something I'll keep in mind for this year because he just throws his body around aggressively and it tends to lead to the occasional injury. But he played really well for the Cowboys this year. And had they not re-signed Donovan Wilson, I know people like Marquis Bell. I do too. We're banking on a UDFA emerging as your number three safety, which th th that third safety plays starter snaps for you. You utilize the big nickel, big dime constantly. That third safety is a starter. That is significant for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, today's Cowboys report is sponsored by Fume. Have mine right here. We all have bad habits, and we certainly know how hard it can be to kick those bad habits. Our sponsor, Fume, is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. I didn't expect much from Fume when I got it, but the minty sensation is powerful and uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a nice feeling, right? The Journey Pack that they offer comes with three unique flavors for you to enjoy. They've got uh, white cranberry. They've got... Maple pepper, oop, upside down, just spill it out. And they have crisp mint as well. I got to make sure to put those back in so I don't leave a mess everywhere. Fume is not a vape, by the way. It is a non-electronic device designed to transform your negative habits. The easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to 
a positive one. Kind of makes sense, right? And Fume is designed perfectly to do just that. Head to tryfume.com slash chatsports and use code chatsports. Save 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. Let's try fum.com slash chatsports and use code chatsports. Save an additional 10% off on your order today. All right, back to Donovan Wilson. The first move of Cowboys free agency here. I'm glad he's back. Uh, I mentioned the whole safety usage, the three-headed dragon, if you would. The, the other thing is very happy. J. Ron Kirsten, Lee Cooker, we're all talking about it. Um, they they like to put out the gif of like the the three-headed dragon on social media. Malik Cooker did that this morning. He, they're, they're, they're happy. These three are great safeties. That trio is one of the better trios in the NFL. And in the end... This was a Dan Quinn move. This move to add, and, or I should say retain Donovan Wilson, was driven by Dan Quinn. He wanted him back. He wanted him with the Dallas Cowboys sticking around and allowing him to utilize that big nickel, big dime package. And there are three safeties out there. It's worked very well. For the Dallas Cowboys. You still have Israel Mukwamu. You still have Mar Mar Marquis Bell. Who will probably make your rosters again this year. Bell M M Mukwamu might end up playing some. Uh, some more nickel for you this year. I'm glad the Cowboys took care of that. Takes care of one of their biggest needs on defense. Now they can address other spots. Now our next milestone. Here on the Cowboys report. Is uh, 153,000 subscribers. We are 3 102 away. Let's get there. Go subscribe if you haven't already to the Cowboys Report. Free videos every single day, multiple times per day, right here on the Cowboys Report. Uh, let's hit some other news and rumors here. Update on the Leighton Vander Esch situation. Uh, report from Jane Slater, and I'll, I'll just read verbatim here so I don't misquote anything. Cowboys still trying to hammer something out with linebacker Leighton Vander Esch. But as they do, another team has entered the picture. Mystery team! Who is it? Couldn't tell you. Uh, after the Bobby uh, Okarike, is that how you pronounce it? Okarike deal. Expect, expect negotiations to start around $7 million per year. That's pff, pretty close to what we were suggesting the numbers were going to come in. Let me pull up my ideal offseason plan. I think I had the numbers there uh, for Vander Esch. But that's not a huge surprise for me. The injury red flag in the past should remain a red flag, and I think that has to be considered uh, as the Cowboys keep things in mind there. Uh, pulling up my numbers. Uh, I had... Uh, oh, I signed Bobby Wagner. That's right. That's what I did on that one. I did sign... Uh, I, I did re-sign Donovan Wilson. Let me see if I can find it. It's fine. We're just going to do this here. Um... But I wouldn't be surprised if, if Van Der Esch gets more money elsewhere. Uh, he's coming off a, a, a very significant season where he looked like... I thought he had his best year since his rookie year? Like, I kind of thought that was a better year than what we've seen uh, in the past from these Cowboys. I had Van Der Esch three years, 23.5. So we're over seven. That's what I thought it was going to be. And I, I had Wilson cheaper. I bumped off my second one, but... I think you're in that three years, $23.5 million range is about right for Van Der Esch. The Cowboys did lose a linebacker, by the way. Luke Gifford is a titan. He has signed a deal, a two-year deal worth up to $5 million. I believe the guaranteed money was somewhere in the range of a couple. Uh, so that's, in the end, Luke Gifford leaves. And in theory, Devin Harper takes over as that next up special teams Backup linebacker. Hopefully Jabril Cox plays a bigger role, but I, I don't know if that's going to be the case there. So Gifford's gone. We'll see about Van Der Esch, but Donovan Wilson is here to stay for the Dallas Cowboys. I am pleased. What is your one-word reaction to the re-signing of Donovan Wilson? Give me one word only in the comment section right now. I want one word is nice. It's a nice signing. I'm pleased. I'm happy. I'm not thrilled. It's not the greatest move ever made by the Dallas Cowboys, but it is a significant move 
from this Cowboys organization. To retain Donovan Wilson, their number one priority, is the first box checked. In what should be more boxes checked than what I think the Dallas Cowboys will actually end up doing. So, nice is my one word. Keep giving me yours in the comment section. One more update. Great job, Patrick. On Dante Fowler Jr. Josina Anderson says the Cowboys are working on a Dante Fowler deal. Possible hot take from your boy, from your boy here. I'm not going to break the bank for Dante Fowler. I am perfectly inclined to say, you know what? If you want to go more than the one-year $3 million, all right, it's fine. I'm not going to... I'm not going to freak out if they don't pay him. Because I think he's your fourth or fifth best edge. We should, we should actually have the depth chart here, Patrick. If you want to go to it real quick, it's in the save column. You have Demarcus Lawrence, Micah Parsons, Dorrance Armstrong under contract for now. Sam Williams, I think we all want to give him more reps. Chauncey Golston can play inside, outside. Where does Dante Fowler rank on that edge depth chart? Fourth at best, right? I don't need to pay a premium for that number four edge. What I would do, if he gets a, a, a nice offer, cool. Thank you for your service, Dante Fowler. We'll take the, take the comp pick, and we'll go sign somebody who's not going to qualify for one, and we'll play that game every single year. The Cowboys, I'm going to say hate their free agency strategy. From a comp pick perspective, they are one of the best in the NFL. I would play that game with Dante Fowler. As more news happens on the Dallas Cowboys, we will have you guys covered. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV.